There's few things worse than sitting down to a TV show that really should be great, only to find out that its potential has been squandered and its premise totally wasted. Such is the case with the following shows, all of which had the vital ingredients needed to be something truly great, but somehow found a way to lose sight of what they could have been. Whether it was due to poor writing, behind the scenes clashes, or the terrible execution of key themes. Making a show is hard work, there's no doubt about that, and coming up with a really good idea is a rarity afforded to very few filmmakers and writers. Even so, it's difficult to watch these shows as an outsider without thinking of a dozen ways they could have been saved from their failings. I'm Jess from What Culture, and here are 10 TV shows that wasted brilliant concepts. Number 10. Heroes, a gritty superhero series. Running for four seasons between 2006 and 2010, you probably remember Heroes for its incredible first season, and likely you dropped off sometime after that and didn't see the ending like most of us. The story of a group of ordinary people who gain supernatural abilities and grapple with their implications, the ensemble drama was both well cast and extremely rich in its mythology and unconventional superhero narrative. Unfortunately, though the first season was such a rousing success, the second season was heavily shortened due to the 2007 Writers Guild strike, and its story suffered from a maddeningly slow pace and indulgent exposition from which the rest of the series never recovered. After the second series, audience numbers massively fell, critics lost interest, and the writers just weren't able to recapture that magic of the first season. Number 9. Studio 60 on the Sunset Strip – A Show About a Failing TV Show Aaron Sorkin has always been an acquired taste, what with his fast-paced dialogue and epic monologues, but when he gets the right material, there's no denying the guy knows how to create a good story with great characters. Just think The West Wing, The Social Network, and A Few Good Men. Studio 60 on the Sunset Strip is one of the writer's most infamous flops, its premise of two struggling writers attempting to save a dying sketch show failing to gel with his style or narrative approach, leaving the finished product decidedly low on compelling characters or effective humour. The dramedy as a result only ended up lasting one season, and yet 30 Rock, which started up about the same time, managed to massively make the most of its underdeveloped premise, so I guess that's something of a happy ending. Number 8. Revolution – What Would Happen If Electricity Vanished Revolution is one of those rare shows that seems to have everything working for it, and imagining it failing just seemed far too outlandish. Created by Eric Kripke and starring the likes of Billy Burke, Giancarlo Esposito, and Elizabeth Mitchell, the sci-fi drama takes place in a world that's been thrown into lawless turmoil after all the electricity on the planet went out. With all its veteran writers and accomplished cast, though, Revolution still managed to lose sight of what it was trying to go for. Though its first season garnered moderate praise, the second season lost the show's gritty origins in place of more overt sci-fi tropes and use of irritating character motivations as uninspired plot devices. You can see Kripke really trying something new with the show, almost on an episode-by-episode -episode basis, but its eventual tone issues left Revolution unable to keep up with his vision. Number 7. Riverdale, a crazy Archie Comics adaptation. Of all the shows on this list, Riverdale is perhaps the one famous for being bad, or at least how bad it's become, with a lot of people tuning in just to see what madcap mayhem has happened since the last episode. Based on the Archie comic series, it follows a group of high school students who constantly clash with each other, their families, and working together to solve the town's countless mysteries, which often have supernatural explanations and murderous twists. Sounds good, right? Well, it's not. Whilst the first season runs like your standard, if incredibly melodramatic, teenage crime drama, the show since then has descended into madness, relying on convoluted plot twists, unbelievable characters, and awful dialogue to tell its indecipherable stories. It had the makings of a great crime series, even with its melodrama, and with a cast like that you'd expect it to come out pretty good, but instead it's sort of just become a parody of itself. Number 6. Dexter – A Police Procedural Starring a Serial Killer Though the vast majority of shows on this list squandered their potential right out of the gate, Dexter actually utilised its concept of a blood splatter analyst who hunts serial killers to quench his murderous impulses quite well. At first, that is. Despite sporting a slightly too melodramatic tone during its early years, the first four seasons of Dexter make for great entertainment. 
They're darkly amusing, brilliantly performed, and the internal mysteries and how they wind their way through the characters' lives are genuinely enthralling. With the fourth season cliffhanger though, in which Dexter's innocent wife Rita is brutally slain by his latest enemy, the show outdid itself and was never able to relive the greatness of its early years. Throwing dozens of twists at the wall to see what stuck, the last half of Dexter's run was marred by ill-conceived plotlines, convenient storytelling, and a finale so disappointing it's tainted the show's image ever since. It was never terrible, but it's hard to watch knowing just how good it could have been if it just ended in its prime. The sequel series Dexter New Blood is coming out now though, and you know what? So far, so not too bad, so that's a good thing. Number 5. Flash Forward what if the world saw six months in the future? Flash Forward sports a very interesting concept that suggests what would happen to people if we could all see six months into the future of our lives. It follows dozens of characters as they grapple with their futures. Constructed as equal parts crime drama and high concept sci-fi, the series had all the makings of a deep and impossible to resist show about human nature but ended up wasting its potential due to its shocking execution. Though it watches like the spiritual predecessor to The Leftovers, Flash Forward's concept ended up buried by sloppy writing, a maddeningly slow pace, and a lack of entertaining stakes, as though the writers weren't entirely sure where they wanted the drama to end up or say. It may sound like a surefire success story, but Flash Forward, which only lasted one season, really just isn't worth your time. Number 4. Fear the Walking Dead, a drama set during the opening of an apocalypse. If there's ever been a TV show that's changed as dramatically as Fear the Walking Dead, I don't want to know about it. A spin-off of The Walking Dead, Fear spends its first three seasons doing something very special with the franchise's story, by taking audiences back to the beginning of the apocalypse and setting the action in the beautiful hills of Mexico. This setting change, mixed with the introduction of a whole host of new characters, made Fear genuinely great during its first three years, justifying its existence at every turn. But then season 4 arrived, most of our main cast were killed off, and the drama moved to run with the main series. Since then, the show has struggled to find its identity and watches just like another season of its inspiration. The characters have become inconsistent, the drama repetitive and slow, and though it's not all irredeemably awful, it's frustrating to see it lose sight of what it was so horribly. Number 3. Terra Nova – Saving the World by Escaping to the Past The pitch for Terra Nova makes it sound like an obvious hit. In a future where overpopulation and climate change has ruined the planet, many are given a second chance at life by traveling through a one-way portal to a large colony that's been set up millions of years in Earth's past. It sounds epic, especially once you add the family drama and a brewing civil war, but unfortunately, Terra Nova lost its way right out of the gate. From its astonishingly poor special effects, cheesy dialogue, indulgent exposition, and weak characters, it makes sure to set up some big things going forward, but it does it in such a ham-fisted and alienating way that it's almost impossible to be interested in the payoff. Though a bigger budget and better planning could have helped it out further down the line, Terra Nova was mercifully killed off after just one season, and all that potential wasted. Number 2. The Newsroom – The West Wing's Successor Unlike Studio 60, this Aaron Sorkin project managed to churn out three seasons, and during its first few episodes, seemed poised to be the writer's big TV follow-up to The West Wing. Starring Jeff Daniels as a veteran anchor attempting to set up a news station that will take a no-nonsense approach to its work, The Newsroom used real-world effects to form the basis of its drama and allowed Sorkin to vent many of his own political opinions onto the screen. This may sound well and good, especially if you're a Sorkin fan, but eventually the newsroom just felt kind of preachy and way too caught up in the politics. Both of these tragically overshadowed the show's game cast and character drama. It had the opportunity to say some important things whilst also creating a strong workplace drama, but the newsroom became too speechifying and as subtle as a hammer to maintain its lofty aspirations. Number 1. 13 Reasons Why – Tackling Real Teen Issues But Butchering Them One of the most controversial TV shows ever made, 13 Reasons Why could have and should have been a really intelligent and important viewing experience. 
Instead, it bungled its themes to a horrifying extreme and became too wrapped up in its controversies to work as an effective drama. The story of a young woman who commits suicide and then releases tapes to her friends explaining why she killed herself, the show was meant to act as an important and educational take on teen suicide, abuse, sex, addiction, and mental health. And while those themes were indeed front and center, the way that 13 Reasons Why handled them was not with care. Needlessly violent and unperturbed by its traumatizing depiction of suicide and abuse, it watches like one big textbook on how not to portray mental health and teen drama on screen. Its performances were always brilliant, and its first season has some moments of greatness. But all told, 13 Reasons Why wasted the opportunity to make the difference it was clearly aiming for stay away. And that's our list, but do let me know down in that comment box if you can think of any other TV shows that wasted brilliant concepts. As always, I've been Jess from What Culture. Thank you so much for hanging out with me. If you like, you can follow me on my Twitter account where I'm at Jess McDonald, but make sure you stay tuned to us here for plenty more great content.